So as we have seen earlier, while defining agents in Google ADK, we have to pass model name. And generally, we pass the Gemini models because these all are Google's model and it is easily integrated with this particular agentic framework. But what if we have to develop your agent using Google ADK framework, but instead of using the Google's model, you want to pass OpenAI, Anthropic or any open source models. Then what should be the right approach to pass the models here? So in this video, we are going to explore the same. How we can pass any third party models to define the agents in Google ADK framework. So let's get started. So as you can see, first of all, I have created this particular folder. This is third party models folder. And as part of this video, I'm going to show the integration with two models. First is going to be the OpenAI models and then another is going to be open source model. So let's get started with the OpenAI model. So in this case also, we are going to have same kind of pattern with the init.py file, .env file and the agent.py file. So the first change what we have to do this because in this case we are not going to use any of the Google's model so we can just comment it out or we can just remove it all together from here and then instead of Google API key we have to pass OpenAI API key. So once you pass it over here then again we have to go to this agent.py file the same file which we have been leveraging earlier also because this is required to run ADK web. So what I am going to do I am just going to take the base code from here and then put it in this particular file which is going to be the agent.py file and now our goal is instead of using the this Gemini model we have to use any of the OpenAI model. So the direct integration is not available in Google ADK framework so what exactly you need to do is you need to install another package and that is going to be Google ADK dot models and then in this case this is going to be the light LLM as you can see over here we have to take this and then and then we have to import this light LLM which is going to come over here so it's not going to be reflected if you are trying to pass it first time what we have to do is you have to install a package for this in my case it's already installed but if it is not installed in your system then you can just install it by running this particular command which is going to be the pip install light LLM and you can just run it to install it on your machine it's already there so that's why it's coming as a requirement already satisfied I'm just going to clear it out now first part is done under model what we have to do is we have to just remove this all together and now we have to just use this light LLM and if we go under this then you can see the, there is a model name which we can pass it over here in this case I am just going to pass model name which is going to be like this and then because if I want to use the OpenAI model so I have to pass something like this so suppose if you want to pass any other model you just have to change the model name over here and that's it we can just save it and I can just go ahead and try to run this I will go to the parent folder and this is going to be my third party models and after this I can just go ahead and run ADK web now I can go over here and select this OpenAI model and from here I can just type hi and let's see whether we are able to get a response or not on the console also we can see it's trying to load the environment file and using the environment file it will try to fetch and validate our OpenAI API key and as you can see uh, the model has been picked over here is gpt4 omini and the provider is OpenAI and let's go back to the main screen now and we can see like we are able to get a response so I can go ahead and continue the conversation but because we were able to get a response from our agent it means like our setup has been done successfully and we are able to get a response so instead of using Gemini model if you want to pass any OpenAI model you can pass it like this you just have to pass that OpenAI API key in the environment file and have to pass your models using light LLM now let's try to do this with the open source model again because this is going to be the open source model so we don't have to pass any API key as such so here you do see like I'm, I'm not passing Google API key or I'm not passing any OpenAI API key also and in the agent.py file I can just take the base code from here and then I can just put it here so now again we are going to leverage light LLM only only thing is instead of using the OpenAI provider we have to 
use any other provider which can serve us the open source model so in this case i am going to use olama and i can just pick any of the models from here so i am going to pick this gamma 3 model so here you can see there are different version of the model i am just going to pick the smallest one which is going to be this 31b model because the size is only 815 mb models it will be faster to download on our local machine so i am just going to click on this and here you can see like we just have to run this olama run gamma 31b command to pull this model from artifactory to our local machine before doing this you may have to install olama as well on your local machine so if you don't have olama installed then you can just go to home screen and from here you can just download it once you download it it is going to give you the options you can just select it based on your operating machine like which particular version you have to install so it's already installed on my system so i will just go to command prompt and from here if i just try to run it olama list then it's going to just show me okay which model i have already pulled it out so you can see it's a 815 mb model which i have pulled it from the olama artifact on my local machine and it has been downloaded 3 hours back so i can just go to 31b version model i can just take this command and paste it over here and now i'm good to interact with this model if you don't have it already installed in your system then if you run this command then it will take some time to download the model yeah just like it happened with me first time when i tried to run this command it downloaded all the model and then had given me this particular prompt to interact with the model so now you do have this particular model over here what i can do is now i need to connect it with my framework to define the agent because this is coming from olama so instead of open ai i can just pass olama chat and then i just have to pass the model name which i have been leveraging over here so it's gamma 31b so i'm just going to pass the same gamma 31b now that's how actually i have defined the open source model you can see i have just changed the provider name and the model name and i'm not passing anything in the environment file so let me just go ahead and try to run the model so again in this case also i'm just going to go ahead and run adk web and we'll navigate to the screen and we'll navigate to adk web and instead of using openai model i'm going just going to use open source model and i'm just going to say hi and we'll wait for a response from the agent again we can just check it on the console again it's reading the environment file but there is nothing as a key and it has identified the model name and the provider name and let me just go back to the adk web and you can see like we are able to get a response here as well so you can clearly see so just by using this light llm integration and just by changing the provider name we can interact with multiple models and this is not a full list i would highly suggest you to go to this light llm documentation and here you can see there are different kind of providers available so we have explored the openai and olama but if you want to interact with anthropic bedrock uh, vertex ai azure openai everything is available over here you just have to go into the documentation and you just need to see like how they are passing the model and same thing actually you can pass it in your code as well similarly for uh, anthropic if you want to pass certain model then then you can pass like this so the your provider name is going to get changed and then you need to pass the model name which is documented over here yeah so that's all you need to do to integrate your google edk framework with different model providers that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching